Well, from what we've done today, I think it's um, a place where you can imagine how you can visualise and reinterpret different um, data sets. So it's kind of experimental place. What it is for me is a way of representing our scientific understanding in a way that's uh, easier for people to understand. Uh, so transfer, translating our data, our scientific data into something uh, that people can relate to uh, in a physical form. In our collaboration, uh, there's a group of uh, four or five people working together, attempting to produce something creative uh, in a very short space of time. And one of the problems we came across was trying to define our common purpose. Was the outcome going to be design, in which case we were communicating clearly a specific issue and that the outcome would be readable, uh, as you would have with a map, for example, or a diagram? Uh, or was it art, in which case we were hoping to promote a wider and more open reflection? So that was something which remained uncertain right until the end. And so the, the finished result we have here could be design, uh, which is intended to communicate a specific message, or it could be art which is intended to open up a question. And that could follow along or reflect the, the opposition between the index and the sign, where something has a direct relation as an index with a material phenomenon in the world. As a sign, it's open to interpretation, it's ambiguous, and it's contingent on somebody's cultural background or their particular position. So that was something that remains unresolved. Is it art or is it design? And perhaps that instability is where part of its value lies because it got us all thinking and we had to articulate our positions. So under natural climate conditions, so under climate conditions that just involve me, this is sort of the one in a hundred year event. And then in present day climate, Um, this, this can, the magnitude can change, and when we have future climate change, then the magnitude of this extreme event can also change. It, uh, it represents uh, water supply in the UK, so this is a <laughs> bad situation, this is a good situation. In this situation, the climate gives us lots of water and there's less people, and so these little silver things are the water reservoirs and the desalination plants and so forth. When we put too much pressure on one or the other, or push too much for one or the other, you know, the whole thing might tip over, which is what we see with climate issues, for example. So gravity bringing something down as well as temperature making it back up, yes. pumping action, is there a sense of human, we want people's actions to result in change, do we? So the different actions from different interest groups. This is sort of the world that might have been without climate change, and then you add climate change and you get the extreme weather here, but you don't change anything here. If you wanted to do a represent, you could have, you could go back to our different actors standing in different places, looking at the, the different bits, being engaged or not engaged, changing things or not.